Hey, what's up guys? Before I start this video, I want to apologize, but I am sick. So if I cough during this video, I apologize for headphone users, but I want to show you guys Android Lollipop, Android 5.0 on the LG G3. Now this is the Verizon um, G3, but lock it real quick. I am running T-Mobile. <coughs> As you see right there, it says no SIM card, which is, I don't really know how to get rid of that, but... I am running it on T-Mobile and it works just fine. You see I have LTE and I don't know if anyone else uses a Verizon LG G3 on T-Mobile, but I figured, and sure, do a little speed test. Orlando, Florida for some reason. Kind of awkward. See, my LTE inside is actually pretty decent. I'm not sure why the server says Orlando. Let me go ahead and change this. Change the server, go to Jacksonville, Florida. And then we'll go to restart speed test. Actually, we'll wait for this to finish. But I finally found a day where my neighbors weren't so noisy and I could actually make a video. So I'll just leave it at that. I'll maybe post another one on Twitter or something so you guys can see. But this is Android 5.0 Lollipop. See, this is Google Now. This is the home screen. It does include the Google Now launcher as well as Trebuchet. This is the 12.4 build today. And... It has been running perfect for me. I have not had any issues besides the where the battery or the, the you know if you lose data, all you have to do is open up terminal. Oops, and type in su, and then type kill all, r i l d, and that will reset your entire radio, and you will get signal back. Of course, if that ever happens to you, which I don't recommend. You know, it, you shouldn't really have to do that that much on the newest build because I haven't. I've rebooted and I still kept data. But, you know, if you have to, it's there. So it includes all of the default, you know, G apps. I use the, I will, I will post the build that I use. They're actually the 1130 build. And I will post those in the link below so you guys don't have to worry about that. Let me go to my screenshots real quick. People have been complaining about battery drainage. I have not had that. I don't know if it's just me or I'm just lucky. But this is one of my few screenshots and I tether my phone like crazy. So this isn't, this is not um, Lollipop. This is actually one of the stock ROMs. But I tether my phone like crazy. This is on a day where I didn't have Wi-Fi tether on all day. Today I do have on Wi-Fi tether and you see that I'm already at 48%. So... Take that, you know, however you want to, but, <coughs> you know, I've had really good battery. I'm not sure why people have been complaining. I get text messages just fine, you know, use the default messenger. I actually use Hangouts, that's why my messages aren't there, but phone calls work fine. Data, I haven't had any issues with. GPS, as you see, works fine. It connected to speed test, you know, just fine. Um, so I'll show you guys some of the features of Lollipop. I see some of the features that CM has baked into Lollipop. You do have the kill all button up there in the top right. So if you wanted to close all of your apps, which again, people have been saying that their phone's been slowing down. Mine, mine hasn't. So, yeah. But you see you have these toggles up here. You can't really customize these at all, but you have flashlight, which helps a lot. Cast screen, auto rotate, airplane mode, and your data. We'll just jump into settings. You can also switch users. So if you tap this, you can add a guest or add just a different user. Oops, I didn't mean to disable my, oh God. I am getting Comcast this Wednesday, so I won't have to really be using this much more unless I'm out on the road. But you see, this is your settings menu. Note to self is that, or to you guys, is that I do have NFC turned off. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with battery, but personalization, you have the home. And you have status bar. See, this doesn't really work for me, so I just leave it there. But see it under device. You can choose how your buttons work. Your home button and this is the recent apps menu button. Under display, we go to display. You have some advanced settings here. You can double tap to wake and double tap to sleep, which is just like the stock G3, which I love that feature because the power button's on the back, you know. And then I changed the font to small because I think it looks better. Got your sound and notifications, your user. 
<coughs> um, no, if you guys do want the advanced reboot, where if you go to reboot, you have the soft reboot recovery and bootloader, you have to en enable developer options by tapping build number a few times, then you got to go to advanced reboot. Now, not many things have changed here except for quick boot mode, which is kind of like fast boot on the HTC One devices, which I find very useful. But I like to show touches, but I just haven't enabled it. I had my transition animations, all those set to 0.5. And I disabled the new player, which has helped with video playback a lot. And then, you know, yeah. So, it's pretty much just a stock build of Android 5.0. But if you guys really love the material design like I do, because I think it looks beautiful, you know, you guys can test it out. I will leave a link below to the thread. I do recommend following the thread. And if you have any issues at all, post it in the thread or just comment below and I will try to help you. But, yeah, it's been working flawless for me besides the data issue on some reboots. But... If you guys have any questions, please, you know, just leave a comment or comment in the thread. And if I missed anything that you want to see, please comment about it. And I will let you guys know about that as well or maybe make another video. Um, I did try the veneer um, Android 5.0 build and I did not like it as much as this. But figured I'd open up the camera, by the way, to show you guys. Camera does work. So I can take a picture. Take a picture of the nothingness over there. But I heard some there's some issues with the um video. Which I have not used video, but I will try to record a video for you guys. Two second video. I heard that it crashes when you try to see it crashes when you try to save a video, but that's if you guys record a lot of video on your phone, which I don't. I use my camera. So yeah, that's the only bug that I have to report that you can't fix. Um, but any, any other questions, and I'll try to help you guys out. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me, and I'm going to go back to bed because I'm sick, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.